Scooper Thursday! Woo! And this week we have Greg Nagel from OCBeerBlog.com. We got the Nagel. Um, I was totally gonna say that. Okay. Well, the Nagel monster. I beat you to it. He's, He's just in. jumping in. Yeah. That's fun. He's enthusiastic. I like that. Yeah, we'll, dude. We'll talk I'm, about I bring that. the energy. And uh, today, <laughs> today he's going to shower us with Nelson. The Nelson showers. Yeah, we're doing some, uh, some. Uh, well, I think this is uh, Noble? Noble's first appearance on the show. Um, it doing, is, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Nelson shower. Way back in the day, we were going to do that one with the uh, female masturbation, the symbian. 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 Dark symbian. symbian. Yeah, dark symbian. Yes. Yeah. Um, but then we never got around to doing it. I so. actually have the original first bottling of um, dark Dark Knight uh, or Night, the, like, the, the Night the Changer. Night Changer, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have like Kenny or Kenny. Uh, Jerry gave me a bottle. Like I was like, dude, I'm not gonna open yeah. this now. It's just it's, it's, it's a relic. Um, yeah. yeah. For those who don't know, uh, Noble is a brewery in Orange County. They're in what Anaheim? Anaheim. Anaheim. Right by the stadiums. Yeah. Um, they're really good friends of ours. Um, Evan, their brewer, is uh, he's been in Southern California brewing scene forever. He was a, a BJ's guy, right? That's right. No. And yeah. hanger. Yeah. yeah. And hanger. Um, and now he's at Noble making some very tasty beer. Uh, what's going on with this one? So this is a single hop Nelson uh, all the way through. It's 8.8%. Uh, I think it's 65 IBUs is nice. what uh, he told me. And it's all late edition and dry hop Yummy. primarily. And he does a first wort uh, hopping. Doesn't do a For good measure. Initial boil. Yeah. Yep. Um, and anyone who knows me, knows that I loves my Nelson, so I'm well, really excited. Greg, you are not actually affiliated with Noble. We, no, no. But you are the OC Beer Blog. Correct. And so Noble is one of the premier OC breweries. All right, that, yeah, absolutely. and so we decided you're, to... You're like everywhere in Orange County, like when something's happening. I'm kind of jealous of you, to be honest with I'm, you. Uh, I'm blessed. Because you're at places, and I'm like, God, I'm in the freaking Inland Empire. I'm an hour away, and like this is in your backyard, kind of thing. It is, so. yeah. And I live in Anaheim, I, so hey, it's. I, I eat coming up, man. I eat coming up. Cheers, guys. Cheers. So is Anaheim. Anaheim's Thanks for having me. Too. Definitely. But uh, he's also doing a thing called oh, uh, yeah. the Ferk oh, Fest. Yeah. The um, Ferk Fest. Cascale Festival. Why don't you talk about okay, that? We yeah. should talk about that after we drink this, because well, I, I don't want to be hasty. I don't want to be hasty. Okay. Get a good whiff of this. So we got right, so Yeah, the aroma on this is phenomenal. Take it to the and dome. Nelson is one of my favorite aromatic hops. Oh my god, Nelson. I think last oh week god. with the Swami's IPA, we talked about how like when you open a beer and it smells like a bag of hops kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's it's the same thing. My, okay, hops. here's my thing though with Nelson is Nelson does not age well. As a hop, that's especially true. as a single, single. Well, I think hop. hops in general don't age well. No, no, no. I, think that's I a mean, thing. you Nelson can. Nelson in particular. Nelson oh in God. particular goes into a really weird flavor profile mm -hmm. really fast and drops out. Yeah, so this is definitely these kind of beers are definitely ones you drink as quickly as possible. Mm. Yeah, Scott Jennings at well, Sierra Nevada was saying that the Nelson was it's one of the most domineering hops that you can put in. Uh, like you have to dial it back if you're blending it. Mm -hmm. uh, but once it drops out, then obviously uh, all the other hops kind of beat it to the to mm -hmm. the finish. Line. Right. So that's cool. Here's the thing that I love about New Zealand hops is that, I mean, when you have like, they call them like impact hops. When you have like American style, it's very like, you know, tropical fruit, citrus, blah, like in your face. Mm -hmm. You know, this one has a lot of like those tropical notes. It's got a lot mm -hmm. of fruitiness that like, you know, the that mango, like, the papaya. Yeah, that like passion yeah. fruit type passion thing. Fruit. But then also, there's this Star like, fruit. yeah, there, there's also this like underlying juice. like spiciness to it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because a lot of those New Zealand hops are um, noble varietals that have just kind of mutated over time. But they that they always have that noble kind of like woody like spicy right. thing. It's almost like a little bit of uh, bitter pepper on the back end. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. But. I really think I almost like a cedar thing. In yeah. a way. the bitterness on this is perfect for what it is. Mm -hmm. like it's just mm -hmm. it's not overwhelming. It's not in your face. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in your face, but it's it's just not it's not taxing. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a very good mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. I think it's got like a softness to it mm -hmm. that kind of um, it balances the. Bitterness well, and that's the Nelson really well. too, because Nelson almost I've noticed seems that, like yeah. rock salt. Mm -hmm. For beer, it's it just a, yeah, brings it down to a soft level. No, I level see what you're saying. It's it's yeah. like it's like it's it's Coats not a super tongue. harsh hop, but when it's used for bittering, it's yeah, it's kind of like a, a soft water versus hard water thing. Viscousy kind too. of thing happening, mm -hmm. which I don't know if you can get that from hops. I I doubt you can, but for some reason it lends itself to being like a soft kind of mm -hmm. feeling hop in your mouth. So it's I not like soft in my mouth. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not like super sticky, resiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. it's yeah, more chalky. Definitely. 
not chalky, but dry. But, but there, there, but there is like a certain like almost minerality to mm-hmm. it, in a way, you know. But it's it, like you said, it's not like that dry chalky like type of thing. Yeah, and I think the malts on here, it's more like a. It's just meant to, uh, you know, be the pedestal for the hop. It's exactly. not. It's yeah. not going to argue with the with the hops. As a home brewer, that's something I'm I'm learning that I for some you know when you start brewing beer, you want to you want to focus on everything, and you want to say, well, how can I use every you know the malts? I'm going to use five. No, if you use like two malts in your beer, and you want to emphasize like the hops and make something that's really good and mm-hmm. showcases mm-hmm. that hop. Keep the malt bill simple. Yep. You know, like you want to back those hops up with something good, um, but you want to do something that's not going to get in the way of those hops. Yeah, and well, I think this, exactly. this is perfect for that. Well, I mean, that, that's a very like Southern California thing. I mean, I remember I was talking to, to Julian from Beechwood, and he says that for most of his IPAs, it's like two row and like 5% crystal, and mm-hmm. that's it. And the crystal's just there for kind of some body. Yeah, exactly. Right. Maybe just, just a little bit of backbone. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's Definitely. about showing off the hops, and I think this does a great job of that. This Definitely. really does. And I like that they're doing that. The citrus shower was the first one they did, yep. and this is the second one. What's on the palette for the next Be, one? Be uh, Amarillo. I think is on deck. Oh, uh, oh, they're damn. going back uh, so much peach to Tongue Tickles Double IPA, which won the okay. LA IPA Fest. Uh, Tongue Tickles is delicious. This is kind of similar, but mm. just the single hop version. I think that was a blend of maybe the three or four. Mm. Right on. I gotta say, I'm, I'm really, I'm really proud of what Noble's doing, especially since Evan came aboard. Like he's just a super awesome, nice mm-hmm. guy, mm-hmm. and yeah. I, he and really knows what he's doing with beer. Absolutely. And I mean, for for for. I know their history, and like it was an e- it was not an easy task for them to build no, their yeah. brewery. Right, yeah, they they've had a rocky road. A lot road. of crap, yeah. like with the city and all this other. Not not to say anything bad against Anaheim, but they had to go through a lot of stuff to make their brewery what it is. Yeah, and yeah. so it's it's really cool to see them put so much time and effort into the brewery, and then make beer really good. good. Beer, yeah, it's yeah. just it's awesome. It's cool. Well, um, this weekend, uh, well, last weekend, we'll have gone to Winterfest, or Winterfest, Winter Storm, or the calm <laughs> before the storm, um, which is uh, the beer drinkers versus the Super Bowl, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's technically it's, um, Winter Storm. Yeah, yeah, but then you go with the calm before the storm. Um, and we're going to do some master pairing shoots there. So, barring any massive problems, we're going to shoot to one of those right now. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to another Master Pairings. I'm your host, Bill Sysak. Today I have Patty Lenahan. He's the beverage manor, manager at Stone Brewing World Bistro and Gardens in Escondido. Uh, but not for long, Patty. What's your new job title you're gonna have? Uh, my new job title, Bill, will be the San Diego Regional uh, Brewery representative for Stone Brewing cool. here in well, San Diego. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you very much. So we are here at Calm Before the Storm, Super Bowl Sunday, a great event that goes on from 8.30 to 11, uh, a lot of delicious food, amazing archive beers, and this year we stepped it up a notch by doing uh, on draft for the last time ever together, 030303 Vertical Epic to 121212. Uh, vertical epic stone the stone series that recently ended uh, amazing beers on today patty good job with getting your team together to do all that thank you sir um, but today we're doing a very rare beer that is not available at the festival that came per- from patty's cellar um, this is sawyer's triple uh, patty you want to tell them a little bit about this yeah it's a uh, a beer that we did first in 2004 and the second uh rendition was done in 2008 it was a beer that was done 100 percent for charity for bill Sher- who was our facility's uh, maintenance manager here at Stone. Uh, His son Sawyer, who the beer has been so aptly named after, uh, was a very young kid who was diagnosed with uh, ALD, otherwise known as adrenoleukodystrophy. And it's a very similar uh, neurological disorder to uh, ALS, which a lot of people know more uh, as Lou Gehrig's disease. disease. And uh, uh, Sawyer unfortunately lost his battle with uh, this disease uh, late in 2004, but Bill was able to do this beer, uh, aptly named Sawyer's Triple, for uh, his son to raise a- awareness of the of the disease and also to uh, raise money that right. for the uh, Fight ALD organization that him and his wife Janice have established now. Every every bottle that Stone ever sold to this went 100% to the charity. 100% of the proceeds from this beer, yes sir, went to uh, charity. Very cool. Patty, you want to do the honors? Yeah. 
would love to. So uh, classic Belgian triple style, 7.6%. Uh, with it, I thought I'd be Ooh. a little, whoa. It's a geyser. Wow. It's lively, apparently. <laughs> Smells wow. delicious. Well, that um, macaroni and cheese is definitely paired with it now. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is awesome. Apparently, uh, it's a live bottle, too. Was not expecting. <laughs> that's all right. We'll adjust. Um, that's why I always open the bottles on the show, but that's okay. <laughs> all right. We're back. 7.6% uh, Belgian style triple. Uh, amazing. This batch is now what? Six years old. Six years old now. Six years old. Mm -hmm. Very lively. Very good. Very nice bottle. Very of very lively. Very lively. Um, but cheers. Cheers. Let's sir. give this a taste. Smells beautiful. Reminds me of Belgium. Mm -hmm. Big pear, apricot, you get the age too. Mm -hmm. The age little is oxidation. there. A little oxidation, which turns into a mustiness on the back. Mm -hmm. um, is it pristine? No, but it reminds me of all those times I went to Belgium and tasted all those great beers and all those aged beers. It just brings me right there. So that's really awesome. Definitely. But really good pear. With it, I, going out, not normally what you'd see with the Belgian triple, our uh, stone mac and cheese. Uh, mm -hmm. What kind of sausage is this, Patty? I believe this is a pork sausage. Pork sausage. Uh, with this uh, and it's going to go really well. The creaminess of the cheeses that are involved in this are really going to be cut through with the uh, carbonation and the sweetness and yet dryness of this beer. So I'm going to go ahead and try the pairing patty, see what you think. I'd like to as well. Mm. Creamy, rich. The meat is delicious. It's almost like a Portuguese or a linguise, linguisa mm -hmm. or something. With the beer, wow. It really makes the fruit more vibrant that's in the beer. You really get that pear and nectarine burst. You get the creaminess to the mouthfeel. The The sausage plays little nice spices uh -huh. in it. Um, you So you like it? Love it. Okay. I think it's a fantastic pairing. Yeah, I think it's amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, you can do a lot of things with Belgian triples. White fish, shellfish are great. Goat cheeses, uh, shop, soft sheep cheeses, say that real fast early in the morning. Um, but there's a lot of delicious beers here. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna shoot over and we're gonna have a couple more master pairings at Calm Before the Storm. We're going to get some archive stone beers out. Might as well, they're all being poured here and we're gonna enjoy them and with some new pairings. So I think it should be fabulous. Patty, can you hang around for one more? I probably could, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thanks for bringing this Doctor. delicious beer. You're very Gonna welcome. Go save the rest Thank for the you. production team. And Definitely. thanks for watching another Master Pairings. Welcome back. Um, so, Greg, the reason you're here. Yes. Because, you know, driving out from the IE to the IE, apparently. <laughs> no, he drove from the OC to the IE. The yes. OC to the IE. Apparently, that's like some so sort of feat of nature which cannot I be made performed. It. Yeah, yeah. I know, know, right? <laughs> It's like, I came all the way out to the IE. Oh my God. It's like, no, you drove It's out. a 30 minute drive, fuck off. No, it's like they drove to Nevada. I know, yeah, right? Like make that drive we are basically like at the halfway stopping point to Vegas up at this point from the people <laughs> in the OC's mind. Um, but anyway, you came out here because you're gonna be doing the Firk Fest soon. Firk Fest, Cascale Festival in uh, Orange County. Is this your festival now? It is mine, yeah. Is that like the new thing now? Everybody's just gonna start throwing their own festivals? Yeah. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Because um, we don't have enough parties well, to go I, I to think, already. I think Greg knows what he's doing. With yeah. This I've been to thing, many so. beer fests and uh, uh, obviously like Firestone Walker's Invitational is, is, a, is probably the, the gold standard. Oh yeah. And uh, I've Which by the way, those it. tickets go on sale on... Seven the seventh, yeah, such a real seventh and midnight. But I think what's cool that's about actually the, tonight. What's cool oh, about the that would be tonight, as far as the show goes. That's true. So the Firk Fest. There's no, not we're talking about Firestone. Firestone Walker. Walker. Oh, We've sorry, diverged. We sidetrack. Firestone Walker Invitational Beer Fest. This is our plug, so that they'll give us back. See, I was thinking about what I was going to say next. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm going to say <laughs> next is. Yeah. I think the cool thing about um, doing a Firkin Festival, which is what you're doing. Yep. If you don't know Firkin is, it's it's kind of like a, a little keg. It's, I don't know, how many gallons? It's 10 it's gallons. 10 gallons, okay. And, um, well, not all of them are 10 gallons. Yeah, they well, a firkin is 10.2. Okay. A, a firkin is a specific size. There's also like is a pin. Okay. Oh, and that's like right, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. cask. But size, we're, size. we're just, we're kind of lumping all of those things into one. Yeah, yeah. You know? it's, people like to say the word firkin because and they like firkins. Firkin! I like well, the firkin. Well, firk you, man. Yes. 
Um, but generally what you'll see, at least in Southern California, that breweries do with Firkins is they'll take a beer that they brew, like it's just a standard beer from a brewery, mm -hmm. and they'll add things to it like fruit or hops. chilies or Spices. hops. Yeah. Or Anything you can, like whatever might Cooper work. Needs. Vanilla. I don't know. And so it's cool. The cum of the brewer. Oh, uh, no, they don't do that anymore. Oh, I After hope that not. Lawsuit. Maybe After in Britain. Lawsuit. Maybe in Britain. <laughs> Maybe in Britain. It's warm and thick. It's a, it's a goes at this point. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a It's, it's a, a bit a, nutty. It's, it's a coagulant. It helps the yeast. It's a it helps bit the nutty. Yeast. <laughs> you sick bastard. That's so awesome. Anyway. Yeah. Um, no, so but, so it, it's, and it's generally not as carbonated as beer tends to be. And it's also real ale, so yeah. The, yeah. it'll be carbonated in the vessel, which is going to be served. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends so. on what they want to do. Like you yep. could, you could, you, you know, you could ferment the beer in a cask and just let it naturally do its thing mm -hmm. and natural carbonation. Yep. And however, it comes out is how it comes out. Or you can add beer to a cask and add stuff to it. So I think you're going to get a good variety. I would assume. Yeah, I mean, there's there's those. some seasoned vets uh, in the lineup uh, that do weekly casks. I think that that will have really good stuff and. Uh, there's newbies as well that are. Uh, it's going to be a huge learning curve for them. Noobs. Well, didn't the, so. the 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 brewery that will not be mentioned the called brewery. the brewery <laughs> used to have frickin' Fridays? They still do. Do they do that? First still? frickin' Friday, man. Okay. Yeah. So well, I've, seen, Noble I've, seen, I've seen Noble tap yeah. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. every Friday. Every so, Friday. Um, what's Charles the date Charles on Charles this? Uh, March 22nd from March noon to 4. And where do we get tickets? Uh, Firkfest.com. And then I assume that we're going to get press passes? Of course. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it uh, for you and your family. Where is it located? <laughs> uh, Anaheim Packing District. It's, uh, it's in the park adjacent to Anaheim Brewery. Oh. So it's so all you can newly go to done. Anaheim Brewery. Anaheim Brewery's been around for, what, two years now? Three, at least yeah. in their current form. Yeah, right? yeah. they're an old brewery, right, but right. Um, it's a rehash brand. Yeah, so, um, so they'll be there as well. Yeah, you can go cool. by Anaheim Brewery and then go to Firkfest and blow your have good time. Uh, mind yes. on beer. Um, also in February on the twenty fourth, um, we're going to be at Beachwood as we talked about um, for the Plenty Hold Fights on. Cancer. Um, Sorry, Steve, what were so you saying? He's going to be at the 24th or something. Plenty the 24th of February, <laughs> Plenty, Plenty Fights Cancer. cancer. Um, if you haven't gotten your uh, raffle <laughs> ticket yet, you still have plenty of time, Against although you cancer. should hurry and do it right away. Um, but yeah, so go to the Seal Beach at the Long Beach location, pick up your raffle ticket. It's a great cause. Even if you don't get a, a, a glass of Plenty out of that, your heart will feel good because you've helped somebody with That's true. less fortunate than you. Agreed, so. sure. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, Greg, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah this was thanks great. So great. Yeah, Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Until next week, stay safe and drink beer. I am also big in Japan, but for a different reason. Yeah, I'll save you guys some of mine. Do you want a fresh uh, plate? Plate of uh, mac no. and cheese. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like totally soaked and, Hold on. and covered in that. Um, <laughs> There's a technique to it. Watch. All right.